today I'll be doing the topic on human immune system, our body soldier. In my presentation, I'll be covering on eight points, which one is the introduction of what is actually human immune system. Two, how our human immune system works. Three, the types of immune system. Four, the cause of weak immune system. Five, the signs and symptoms of weak immune system. Six, systematic lupus aromatosis, which is also known as SLE. Seven, how to boost our immune system. And eight, a simple conclusion or reminder for me to you guys. So what is actually human immune system? The immune system is the body defense against infection and the human immune system attacks germs and keep us as humans healthy. So how do our human immune system actually work? So when the body sends a foreign substance, also known as an antigen, the immune system works to recognize the antigen and try to get rid of it. So that is when these two comes in, B lymphocytes and T cells. B lymphocytes are triggered to make antibodies, which are called immunoglobulin, and these proteins are took a look onto specific antigens. After they are made, antibodies usually stay in our bodies, and in case we have to fight the same germs again. That is why we sometimes, when we get sick with a disease like chickenpox, we won't usually get sick again. So sometimes we are given vaccination, so this will actually make the antigen, this will actually introduce the body to an antigen in a way that it doesn't make someone else sick. But it does let the body to make antibodies that will protect the person for future attack by the germs. So although antibodies can recognize an antigen and um, lock onto it, but they need, they can't destroy it without another cell's help. That is when T cells comes in. T cells is also known as a killer cell. T cells destroy antigens by attack by the antibodies or the cells that infect it. They signal other cells like phagocytes to do their jobs. Next, I'll briefly explain about the three types of immune system. One innate immunity. Innate by itself means natural. So this immune system, this immunity is born in, everyone is born with this immunity. So a type is a general type of protection. For instance, the skin acts like a barrier to block germs from entering the body. And the immune system recognizes when certain invaders are foreign and could be dangerous to us. Next, adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity develops throughout our lives and when we are exposed to disease or vaccines. Three, passive immunity. It is a temporary immune system that is borrowed from another resource. For instance, when antibodies in a mother's breast milk give to a baby temporary immunity to, de to protect themselves from diseases that the mothers have been exposed to in previous times. And also note that these passive immunity are temporary, so it doesn't mean it will last long. Next, we will look at the causes of a weak immune system. So there are several factors that can cause us to have a weak immune system. One, being stress, lack of sleep, have immunodeficiency disorders such as AIDS or leukemia, and not eating healthily, smoking, drinking alcohols, having radiation therapy, being exposed to harmful chemicals, and taking medications such as corticosteroids, which is often used to combat inflammation in the body. For example, these medications are taken by patients who have suffered from SLE, which is systematic lupus aromatosis. So what are the signs and symptoms of the immune system? One, your stress level is very high, sky high. That's because when the stress decrease, that's because the stress actually decreases the body lymphocytes. So when your lymphocytes levels decreases, you are more at risk for viruses 
to attack you, for example, you will usually get a common call. Secondly, you always have a call. It is perfectly normal for adults to always sneeze or sniffles two or three times a year. But having it constantly going from two or three times per month or throughout the year probably around 10 or 20 times, you might need to take precaution and maybe consult a doctor about the constantly of having a cold. That might be a sign of you having a weak immune system and you need to find a way to boost it up, which I will present this in my next few slides. Three, you always have a tummy trouble. 70% of your immune system is located in your digestive tract. These useful microorganisms and bacteria are used to protect you from harmful diseases. If you like these useful microorganisms and bacteria, this can lead you to have a weak immune system, can be easily attacked by those are harmful bacteria or even viruses. This can lead to worse to autoimmune disorder. Four, your wounds are slow to heal. Your skin goes into damage control after you get burned, cut, or scraped, your body works to protect the wounds by sending nutrient-rich blood to the injury to help regenerate the skin. This healing process depends on the health of immune cells. But if your immune system is sluggish, your skin cannot regenerate. Instead, your wounds will linger and having a hard time to heal. Five, you have frequent infections. The American Academy of Allergy and Asthma Immunology report that signs of a possible immune system immune deficiency in adults include having more than four ear infections per year, developing pneumonia twice during one year period, suffering from chronic sinusitis for more than three episodes of bacterial sinusitis per year, and needing more than two cores of antibiotics a year. Next. You will feel tired at all times. If you get in, even if you get enough sleep, but then you still feel the exhaustion, it is worth considering if you have a weak immune system, and you might try need to think what your body is trying to tell you. Because when your immune system struggles, so does your energy level. This is because, as explained by Dr. Hassan, that's because your body is trying to conserve energy to fuel your immune system so you can fight off germs. Next, I'll be talking about systematic lupus erythematosus, also known as SLE. As what I've read, SLE is commonly happen, or is commonly going on right now, and it has going on for a long time. A research in Singapore said that it is commonly happen among teachers, especially female teachers who are married. So I think this systematic lupus erythematosus needs to be more, needs to raise the, the awareness of people, the public to know. That is why I'm covering this subtopic in my presentation. So what is actually SLE? Systematic lupus aromatosis, SLE is a chronic disease that can cause inflammation in connective tissues, such as cartilage and the lining of blood vessel, which provides strength and flexibility to structure throughout the body. So what are the other names of SLE? These are the names of SLE, Dissemated Lupus Aromatosis, LE Syndrome, Levin Sachs Disease, Lupus, or a short SLE. Signs and symptoms of a person might get SLE. Note that these signs and symptoms may vary from one individual to another as everyone has a different signs and symptoms that act towards the, their body. So one, extreme tiredness of the teeth. Two, a bad feeling of discomfort or illness, or known as malaise. Fever, loss of appetite, weight loss. Weight loss in this, um, in this signs and symptom is actually mentioning about a large amount of weight is actually lost in a short period of time. So when weight are lost in a short period of time, without any diet, you should actually be aware that 
you might have a weak immune system and you need to consult your local hospital immediately. Joint pain, muscle pain. Joint pain and muscle pain are two common, these two are very common in the patients who have suffered from SLE. Next, flat red rash across the cheeks and bridge of the nose called a butterfly rash. Next, hair loss, also known as alopecia. Hair loss is when you have a massive amount of hair fall. It's not just a few strands, but in a massive amount. More than you usually um, lost your hair during your shower. But this hair loss is in a severe manner. Next, open sore ulceration in the moist lining of the mouth, nose, or less commonly in the genitals. Lastly, how to boost our immune system. So these are the ways to boost your immune system. Have a balanced diet, get enough sleep, and exercise regularly. Keep up with your vaccines. Maintain a healthy weight. To maintain a healthy weight, you can actually follow the BMI, which is also known as body mass index, to know how much you need to weigh according to your height. And don't smoke. And lastly, try to minimize the stress level. In conclusion, our human immune system plays a very important role to keep us healthy and to fight off diseases. Remember, if you have those signs and symptoms, more than two or three or even at least one, if it is very severe, please do take note of what your body is trying to tell you. And if you have those symptoms and signs for a long period of time, please go and consult doctors or even the specialist so that it is cured early as possible so it won't end until a late stage that until the point you cannot treat it. That is all for my presentation. Thank you very much.